December 1995, Galileo began its kamikaze dive into Jupiter. The shield itself is made out of carbon phenolic, and carbon heats up to about 4,000 Kelvin, and then it starts to vaporize, and that's exactly what this heat shield did. The uh, heat shield was about 80% vaporized, well, about 20% remaining. It was uh, white hot, white hot. When the fiery entry was over, the probe began drifting gently down into the planet's atmosphere. It was hoped that Galileo would detect clouds and rainfall and uncover the secrets of Jupiter's weather. But Andy Ingersoll was frustrated. I was surprised at how little water they found because water is so important to the weather on Earth and it presumably was important to the weather on Jupiter. Although Jupiter is covered with clouds, Galileo had the bad luck to fall into a narrow gap between them. It appears that the Galileo probe went into a desert of Jupiter, and that if we'd just gone somewhere else, we would have found the rain. As it sank ever deeper into the atmosphere, Galileo detected the winds picking up and the weather becoming more and more turbulent. The probe seemed to be approaching the source of the giant storms. But it could give no more clues. Three hours after it began its descent, Galileo ventured too far into Jupiter's boiling interior. There was no buoyancy to stop it from going down and down, and so these very high temperatures in the interior ultimately caused the probe to melt and to vaporize, and today the Galileo probe is a part of the atmosphere of Jupiter. We have actually slightly contaminated this giant planet. 